Ladies and gentlemen, aviation enthusiasts, welcome back to Sim Airport. That's right. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. And you know what? Speaking of gifts that keep on giving, the terminal. The terminal building needs needs to be brought online. And it needs to be brought online like ASAP because I've been faffing around with this for like the last four and a bit episodes. I, I should just cover exactly where we are in terms of grants before we move on. Uh, Angel Investor, we've just got that grant remaining. Airline Services, serve 10 planes with a functioning fuel system, negotiate and assign 10 offices to airlines. Uh, we're pretty close actually. We're pretty, pretty, pretty darn close. This track unlocks early AM flights. I'm very, very hyped about doing that, actually. But anyway, we'll worry about that a little bit later on. Now, we've got two floors. We've got two floors over the course of this uh, over the course of this terminal that we need to explore. We also need to hook these four corner uh, gates up to uh, up to a bus delivery system. But I've got a plan for that. I've got a plan for that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do in the first instance. I'm on the second floor right now. We're going to sort out the second floor first, right? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get ourselves uh, a door. A door. A sliding, a sliding glass door. That is exactly what I'm after. So we're going to get a sliding glass door in every position over here that connects up to a gate. Right? So far, so good. Comprende? Comprende. Excellent. Okay. Then we get some gate agent desks. And I'm actually going to try and get three gate agent desks across the space of any given gate. Now, I'm also hoping that we can maybe, just maybe, uh, copy and paste this, but we'll have to we'll have to wait and see uh, if that actually ends up uh, if that actually ends up working. Uh, I'm also going to just throw down like a bunch of I'm also going to throw down a bunch of stairs in the middle of this uh, in the middle of this zone here. I have no idea how big this this box is 58 by 58 what's a quarter of 58 what's half of 58 20 oh gosh 29 so that's 50 percent right 50 percent magenta 50 percent white okay then if i go 50 percent cyan this does have a purpose just just please hold Please hold. Okay, so this, this means that we need to put escalators all around the corner here. Or all around the center, should I say? I said the, co the corner. What am I talking about? Escalator down, escalator up. So we're going to have back-to-back -back escalators. If that's possible, that doesn't seem possible. But that's okay. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem entirely possible to do back-to-back -back escalators, which I really really dislike the dislike the vibe of that. I I really do dislike the vibe of that. Uh, also, why are we not able to build anything? Could we uh could we maybe get a little bit of a move on with the building, please, video game? Thanks. Okay, so if we can't do back-to-back -back escalators, we're gonna have to just go for the slightly suboptimal approach of having almost back-to-back -back escalators. That's fine. All right, that's that's good enough. So half of these are going to be up escalators. Half of these are going to be down escalators. We're going to have we're going to have a heck of a lot of them. Uh, we're now on the ground floor. And actually, we're going to extend out here. Escalator. I do have a plan. I do have a plan. These are going to be down escalators. There we go, there we go, there we go. And that's fine. And then, you know what? Give me some up escalators as well. Actually, no, down escalators too. Yep, yeah, that's that's what I'm after. Oh, man. I, I really do not like these escalator placements. Blocks usage of nearby object. I, I understand. I understand video game, but like, come on. Anyway, so that's two that's two barrages of uh, of escalators there. So that's basically gonna allow us to move over all three floors with relative ease. We've got this big downstairs floor here, which I'm not entirely sure that I know what we're gonna do here, but I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Also, have we got any have we got any workers? We got some workers coming around here. 
but it's taken it's taken a heck of a long time. Can I purchase this land parcel? If I purchase this land parcel, which is exactly what I'm gonna do, it's hopefully gonna make things just a little bit a little bit quicker. It's gonna make it much much easier for the workmen to get uh, to get around. So let's throw let's throw a little bit of an outside gate in this area. Thank you. You uh, Air Canada still flying still flying UFOs irritatingly, but that's okay. All right. Outdoor gates. Too close to nearby taxiway. Too close to nearby taxiway. Really? Alright. Sure. Throw in some throw in some gates over there. Alright, see if that makes it any easier uh, and quicker to get around the place, because it's just taken a ridiculously long time. Anyway, so now that that's done. What I need to do is I need to get I need to get some remote bus pickups. Now, are we allowed to place remote bus pickups underground? If I'm not allowed to place remote bus pickups underground, I I might be in a little bit of a problem situation here. Um can I place some Can I place them on foundations? Oh, I can place them inside. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness gracious me. Okay, so we got four that we need to get down here. One, two, three, four. Right? So far, so good. So far, so good. No, no problems there. And then we basically just need to find a way out. And the way out should probably be over here. So we're going to get road ramp up and the road ramp down. Invalid entrance position. Sure, that's fine. There we go. That's okay. So we'll let that get built, and then we will we will investigate what the issue is. Uh, outdoor gates. That's working. That's working perfectly. Is this runway long enough? I don't think that this runway is long enough. Actually, is it? Not not run uh, not long enough for uh, for big aircraft. Runway already in construction. Already under construction. I mean, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. There we go. We'll get it extended. Get it extended just a smidgen. Uh, and it's going to cause, you know, it's going to cause problems. Because, of course, it will. Timing issues and whatnot. But, you know, we can just about tolerate that. We've got so much money that we can afford to... We can afford to have a couple of misconnections. Uh, we've got so much airline interest as well. Which makes me very, very happy. Right, let's head up to the second floor just to see what's going on over here. Requires a secure area, show non-secure path. Yeah, how is this a non-secure path? Uh, in fact, truth be told, we don't have a single secure area at all. So that's so that's not a so that's just a big old problem overall. But that's fine. Give me give me uh give me a couple of a couple of assigning operations. Assign over there, cool. You're assigned, and you just need to be assigned over here too. Cool. So now we just need a secure area required. Must be accessible directly or via a door. Yeah, we don't actually currently have uh, the ability to make this area accessible quite yet. And to be honest, we now need to ask ourselves a question: How do I want to transport people across to this terminal area over here? I think that we do want to do it with uh, with an underground walkway. I think that that's the way that we do it. Let's do it. Let's do it over here. So let's just expand this entire area. Expand this entire area. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. Very cool. Give me gates agent desks. We're going to have three gate agent desks over here. One, two, three. Brilliant. We're going to reposition these a little bit, and that should make my life just a little bit easier. Right. Airline services wise, uh, negotiate and assign ten different offices to airlines. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we did already make the preparations to do that. It's just about conducting a negotiation with an airline. Air Canada, I think we've already... We've already negotiated with. 
three large planes? Do I have the capacity for three large planes? I think I do. I think I straight up do. Airline does not want to negotiate with you. Uh, okay. I can try and make it a little bit easier to negotiate with Air Canada. Give me one large plane. They're fine with that. They're fine with that. Uh, I mean, I think I already have a deal with them, don't I? Yeah, I've already got a deal with them. Let me give them a, a load of offices. Let me give them as many offices as I possibly can. Zero flight crew lounges. I can give them a small gate. That's fine. Give them zero stores. Zero cafes. Zero conference rooms. Zero cafe profits. Once 20%. Wow. Minimum load per flight. Bump that up. Okay, well, if they want it to be zero, then that's fine. Runway fees, zero per flight. Terminal fees. I'm going to give you zero. Yeah, okay, so they like this. They like this a lot. But I'm basically giving them free usage of the airport in order to give them six offices. Yeah. So the current deal is is pretty good, but or is pretty good for uh, for them. I'm gonna send the offer. I hope they take it, to be honest, because that that that's good. They have accepted our offer. You gave them a good deal. That was generous of you, but certainly it certainly meant you did not come out on top. Again, according to who? According to who exactly? Like, I end up completing a grant, which is what I want, and I'll just be able to renegotiate at some point in the future. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Even slightly. Completed government grant. Yeah, there we go. We did it. We nailed it. And I actually ended up improving... Uh, improving upon... Uh, let's shorten this. There we go. There we go. Move this a little bit. And what do you know? What do you know? What do you know? That actually works out not too badly at all. Did they, did they want a gate? I think they wanted a gate, didn't they? Uh, they've, they've actually already got a gate, so. So that is completely fine. Okay, so we don't even need to worry about negotiating a, a brand new deal or whatever. That's, uh, that's all good. Okay, so, let's get this done. Let's get this done over here. I do wanna, I do wanna blueprint some stuff to make things just a little bit easier to move around. But I'm just waiting for the, yeah, the underground construction to be completed before we move right ahead. I mean, this terminal has been... Honestly, on the cards for what feels like the longest time. The fact that it is still not completed yet is is kind of obscene. But that's okay. Moving walkway. Yep. We're going to have a moving walkway. Can we have two moving walkways next to each other? We can indeed. Oh, that makes me, that makes me happy. Can I cancel this project? Yeah, cancel this project too. First of all... Let's do, let's do the, let's do the stairs first. Let's do the stairs and the escalator. Escalator at both ends, or escalator at this end. Uh, the other escalator is fine. Over there, stairs. Stairway down. Okay, so this is going to be, this is going to be big capacity town over here. There's going to be, there's a lot of capacity that we need. Okay, then I'm going to take a nice big moving walkway all the way across here. Okay, and then another moving walkway all the way up here. Then I'm going to grab a moving walkway to come down here. And then we're going to have a moving walkway that goes all the way back. Except I don't. I straight up do not have enough money to do that. Apparently, because the moving walkways are very, very, very ludicrously expensive. Completely fine. All right. Right. Did we fix up the runway? By the way, I think we fixed up the runway. Good stuff. Give me a demolition over there, and that makes me very, very happy. Right. Let's get this moving walkway done. Let's make a little bit more cash. That is wonderful. Okay, so now this entire area should be secure, if I'm not mistaken. Secure area, yep. Secure area, protected sector, protected sector. 
They're all protected sectors, right? I think it, I think they're all protected sectors. Uh, but there's probably some form of issue with the escalators. So switch directions, switch directions, switch directions, switch directions. Up here, that's fine. And then... Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. I think that's good. I think that's uh, that's perfectly perfectly grand. So now, whilst we're waiting for that other uh, money to come through, we're just going to clear this entire zone. There we go. And I'm going to get some benches over here. Give me some nice big benches. Okay. Keep it, keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tidy. It's probably not going to be enough benches for everyone. But, you know what? That's fine. Okay, get some benches installed over there. We've got loads of additional bench space to go in the future. So, get this done. We'll clone this, and then we'll... We'll do this. We'll do this all the way over here. Uh, can I clone the doors as well? Is that possible? So that I know where the doors are? Excellent. I mean, I can clone the doors, although that's not an allowable maneuver, apparently. All right, fine. We'll just have to not clone them. There goes in there. Goes in there. That right, goes in there. That goes in there. 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 And there. Looking very, very good. Very, very happy with that. Let's get all of that into place as quickly as we possibly can. And then let's also get some more moving walkway or moving escalator. Moving walkway, whatever the heck it's called. Let's get this to head all the way across to here. And then keep moving it round. Minimum 10 tiles. It's fine. Not usable in that position. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. I actually want to put the upstairs, like, over here somewhere. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to be entirely possible. Escalator up. Yeah. I feel like this might not be possible. Well, we can give it a shot. We can give it a shot for sure. Okay, so get this area expanded. And we've got a wonderful moving walkway system already set up, which I'm very, very happy with. And then we can fill this entire area with all of the stuff that needs to be filled. Assigned to... Assign to... Must be assigned to aircraft gate. Requires an adjacent road. Can we not assign this to... Uh... Oh, no, we assign these to aircraft gates, don't we? Okay, so we assign that there. Assign that there. And assign that there. Cool, and then we assign this to a gate as well. And assign that to a gate over there too. Good. Requires a door to the terminal. Requires an adjacent road. Okay. Okay. So the door adjacent to the terminal is is a little bit of a strangety because I hmm actually that's weird maybe I see if I can just dismantle this and then move it out a little bit give myself a little bit more space because I wonder why this doesn't want to work it is technically in the terminal I don't know if it I don't know if it realizes that but that is actually the terminal Whatever the case. Okay, airline facilities is done. We now have early AM flights, by the way. Which is very, very exciting. Investments doesn't actually unlock anything for us. Make high-end stores item have double purchase chance. Alright, cool. I guess we got double purchase chance on all of our things. Which is kind of nice. Passenger satisfaction is at 94%. Thank you very much. I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, we have hardly any passenger aircraft coming in here. But that's okay. We can now do early AM. You know what? Give me... Give me everything, actually.
one and a half hours for absolutely everything. Why is this not working? Oh, extra large gates. It's fine. We've got an American Airlines extra large gate anyway. You know what? Keep it at two hour turnaround. That's not a problem at all. We've actually got plenty of gates. There we go. Air Canada. I'm going to pick up all of the Air Canada flights. Yep. All of the Air Canada flights. And we just have to hope. We just have to hope that we've got enough capacity here. Because I really want to return. I really want to return this area to uh, a nice busy airport. Invalid. Ah! Is this an Air Canada morning flight? Oh, okay. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. We're going to have to shorten the... Shorten the time that large aircraft are allowed to be in here. In order to squeeze this in. Fine. There we go. It just needs to be the arrival slot, though, so... We don't actually need to concern ourselves with when it departs. As long as it's gone... As long as it's gone soon. Now, flip an egg. Another big one? It's fine. I thought they had... I thought they had issues with uh, with giving me large aircraft, but now they seem to be giving me large aircraft like it's nobody's business. Oh boy, is this another large large aircraft? Oh boy, 250. Oh, they don't like that. They don't like that at all. Uh, 250, 250, 120, 120. We can move. Yeah, we can move that around a little bit. Move that to a medium-sized gate. Move this in here. Okay, Air Canada. Boy, oh boy, you guys are hard to satisfy. That's that's a joke. Uh, Aerostar, you know what? We can definitely take all of your early AM flights, to be honest. I don't know what the size of the runway is that we need or the size of the gates that we need. But it's probably not super big. But it's going to be nice to have some, some aircraft activity in the middle of the night, to be honest. Which is kind of completely counter to what you would usually expect somebody to say about airport activity in the middle of the night however it's gonna keep uh, it's gonna keep me occupied which is uh, which is kind of nice all right must be reachable uh, must be reachable yes dismantle that dismantle this wall too and then we're we're gonna get the road set up we're gonna get the road set up and we're also gonna get the escalators set up over here it is noticeable, by the way, how little money I make in comparison to how much I used to be making. I used to be making a heck of a lot more money. Blocked by decorative statue. It's fine. Give me stairs, stairway up too. Is it possible? Find a place to... Yeah, fine. Okay. So one set of stairs, one set of... One set of escalators. One set of escalators, one escalator. Anyway, that's fine. Okay, so give me a little bit more money, please, video game, and then we'll be pretty much ready to go. I need to get a singular, just for trial purposes, remote bus stop. I also need to get some walls all the way down here. I think I just got rid of those walls, actually, but whatever. I think I just need to have a sliding glass door in here somewhere. So maybe that'll make a bit of difference. Then I need to see if I can try and get these walls dismantled. And if they can't be dismantled, then they're going to need to be demolished. Or apparently they're maybe just not demolishable at all. All right, then I guess we're just going to have to... I guess we're just going to have to do to do this with road. That's fine too. And then we need to connect up over to here. There we go. The good news is is that it is entirely possible to build to build road underground, which is great. That's really great news in fact. I'll make a circular sort of route. It is just, like, ludicrously expensive. That's the only... 
that's the only real problem that I have right now. Insufficient funds. Yeah, so we can build on the runways and stuff by the looks of it. It's just about having the cash to do exactly that. But once we're, once we're there, we're there, right? Okay, today should be... Or tomorrow should be the first day that we have early AM flights, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. It's great news. It's great, great, great news. The security area is probably going to be somewhat overwhelmed, but I can worry about that later. Early AM flight, it's a small little Air Canada thing, so sure, squeeze that in. Anything else? You know what? I'll take... I'll take this. I'll take all of these. Uh, what is it? 150? Oh, that's a pain in the backside. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was small. I thought it was small aircraft all around, but apparently not. That's okay, though. Absolutely okay. There we go. Squeeze that in there. Honestly, as long as we're able to, to nail the, the turnaround, then we should be completely fine. All right. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get people boarding. Loads of passengers in line. Are we able to get people out of the door quickly enough? I think we are. I think that's pretty good, to be honest. Failed to reserve runway. Uh most probably just because there is maintenance. You know what? Yeah, temporary maintenance, arrivals and departures. Active arrivals only. Uh I should definitely fix that so that we don't end up having an issue like this. Yeah, this seems this seems not very good. Midnight for four hours? Well, give me midnight for one hour. Yeah, that seems much more reasonable. Anything else? No, I, I don't think I don't think that, that particularly matters. That's that's all good. Okay. Yeah, we ended up losing quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of cash there, mostly because mostly because the settings were just wrong. Must be assigned an aircraft gate. Assign you here, reassign you there. So we're pretty much ready to go. We're pretty much ready to go on that front. Uh, we just need to get the rest of the roadworks finished, and now we can and now we can sort of deal with really really high capacity. Really, really high capacity throughput. I think. I think we should be. I think. I think we should be ready. To be honest, I think we should be ready. I don't like how. I don't like how this area is being used to taxi. Uh, that does make me a little bit uncomfortable. This area is supposed to be somewhat independent, and yet it's just not. But hey ho. Maintenance condition is it's pretty low, but that's okay. Also, I need to renegotiate with Air Canada now. Like, I have to renegotiate with Air Canada. Air Canada are getting such a good deal. They're getting such a good deal. Negotiate. Call. Give me some terminal fees. Give me some terminal fees. Daily fees. I'll give them as many small gates as they want. Breach penalty. Let's bump that up to the max. Daily fees. You know what? Reduce daily fees to zero. Just give me the terminal fees, to be honest. Is that literally it? Is that what they're after? They're just after low terminal fees? Store profit. No. No. Conference rooms. No. No. Stores, no. Why do they want stores? They've already got, they've already got eight, uh, eight offices. I mean, honestly, Air Canada. I, look, I'm just not interested. End the negotiation. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Screw you, Air Canada. Screw you from the bottom of my heart. You've messed up. You messed up my financial plan. I'm gonna need to negotiate with another, with another airline now. I think. Yeah, give me, give me somebody who actually respects me as a, as a person. Aero time, maybe aero time. Let's see if we can try and like get a, a few more, a few more aircraft from them. Who else? 
Arrow Star. Uh oh. Yeah, sure. Throw that in there. All right, that ain't too that ain't too shabby if I do say so myself. We got this gate, which is pretty much ready to go. Not assigned to a baggage depot. Yeah, we need to we need to sort that out too. But I still need to sort out my road network. Okay. Up here. That was pretty well measured, to be honest. There we go. That's looking good. Up there and up there. I think that's a little bit of uh, a little bit of overkill, to be honest. But it's kind of cool, right? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that it's this big. Right. Remote bus stops. Remote bus stops. One, two, three. Excellent. Uh, clone tool. I do want to clone these, but you know what? Let me clone them with a bench in mind. Uh, a bench setup, anyway, in mind. Excellent. I can actually afford to be a little bit more... A little bit more greedy with the space over here. Yeah. Because, I mean, you got to bear in mind, these are quite big. These are quite big aircraft that we're going to be flying from over here. Uh, and then I, I go do something stupid like that. And then I, I'm not able to fit it all in. Oh, boy. Okay. Sure. That'll definitely fit. go and there we go okay that looks good we get a sliding glass door in here is that concrete gonna be removed if it if it's got to be removed then it's got to be removed but we'll try and get it back in place as soon as possible we need to get a bunch of apron buses there we go it needs to be done manually of course because why would it not need to be Go apron bus, fuel truck, fuel truck, fuel truck. Why? Oh, I don't have the cash. Very embarrassing. Uh, also, what's the issue with with all these buses? Why we got so many passenger buses coming through here? Oh, because we got supply trucks that are causing problems. Yeah, I get it. I, I get it. I, I don't know why the supply trucks continue to, to block up traffic over here, but it's really irritating, and I really wish that it didn't happen. Yeah. Failed to reserve gate, failed to reserve gate, failed to reserve gate. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I feel like there is a there is a better way to do our operation maintenance stuff. What's this runway? 18R and then 09. Enable repair override. Enable repair override. Uh, yeah, but where's the runway? Asphalt runway, yeah. Concrete runway. There are two runways. There are two runways. Always finish any time. No, 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 no. I just want to... Okay, whatever. Disable repair overrides. And see if we can try and get this runway fixed up a little bit, please. I'm not happy with the repairing that's going on. Oh my goodness. It takes a blooming long time as well. Okay, I, I feel like we need to get many, many, many more runways in order to ensure that we don't have this situation occurring. I mean, it's maybe possible that we get ourselves another backup runway over here. 
It's actually not the most weird idea that I've ever had. We're going to have to fence off the area, though. And, uh, and that doesn't... That doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well. It doesn't bode well, especially given that the workers are still working on this construction project underground. Like, how long does it flip and take to to build this stuff? Also, there was a comment. I know that this is, like, halfway in. Uh, but there was a comment about... Uh, oh, what was it? It was about legacy sprites. Off. Or on? Are these... Yeah, I think these are the legacy... It's difficult to tell, to be honest. These sprites are both... I mean, they're absolutely hot garbage, actually. Yeah, they're absolutely... Absolutely garbage. But that's okay. That's completely fine. Right, back up to the surface. Let these supply trucks go, please, video game. Just let them go. How's our transport capacity looking? It's looking good, to be honest. It's looking very, very good. Fuel services, is this an appropriate level of markup? Yeah. I think that's fine, to be honest. I think that's completely, completely, completely fine. Failed to reserve gate. So we got a little bit of... We got some overruns. We got some overruns, and it's almost all to do with... A couple of passengers missing their flights. To be honest, that's all going to be solved. That's all, all, all going to be solved in the uh, in the new area, because we are going to have we're going to have no issues in the new area here. Right, rebuild this wall. No idea why it was deconstructed. Give me sliding glass door. Nice and nice and swanky, nice and posh. There we go. You. Need to be assigned to a terminal, uh, to a gate even. It's fine. Assign. Excuse me. Assigned to a gate. Assigned to a gate. Excellent. Okay, so that is gates assigned. You need to be assigned to. Oh, this is of a pain in the backside, to be honest. Uh, oh, which? Yeah, okay, it's this one down here. Can't, can't select multiple at the same time, which is a, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, to be honest. Assign to there. Assign to here. Assign to there. Oh man, this is, this is tragic. I wish there was like an auto assign button. That would be that would be real nice. Right. Okay, so that's so that's everything. That's everything. Requires a valid path from remote bus pickup to aircraft gate remote. Is that not Do we not have a Oh, we don't have a valid pickup yet because we don't have roads over here. Fine. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, so I think that the I think that the, the vehicles can drive around taxiways. If they can't, well this is gonna be a disaster. But that's gonna be fine. That's gonna be fine. If it's a disaster, it's a disaster. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so since I'm on a roll, let's get all of these assigned. There we go. Assign to there. Assign to there. Assign to there. Assign. Excuse me. Assign to there. Is there perhaps a quicker way? Is there perhaps a quicker way of doing this? That's a much quicker way of doing this. Wow. Well, it's actually not that much of a quicker way, but it's fine. There we go. That's looking that's looking remarkable. Okay, so now we've got each and every gate operational, I believe. It looks like all of the issues have disappeared since I connected up that road. Now, here's the other thing that we need to get. A baggage storage shelf. 
Increasing the capacity of your supply zones? Oh, yes. I don't know if this is essential. I don't know if this is a good thing to get. I certainly feel like it is. But there we go. I didn't even realize that that was a thing. Cool. Sign me up to that. Okay. Next, I need to get... I need to get... Uh, what am I... What am I... What am I needing to get? Uh, it, it was something. It was something. I've got the buses. I do need to get a few more members of staff. I think. Yeah, I need to get a couple of additional members of staff. Oh, or apparently not. Maybe we're maybe we're totally fine for staff. Uh, yeah. What do I need? I. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily need anything. I I think I'm just ready to take more. I think I'm ready to take more planes. To be honest. Oh, it was a baggage. It was a baggage thing. Yeah, that was it. A baggage depot. Requires an adjacent road or taxiway. Locked by a nearby fence or wall. What are you talking about? There was a space there that it worked. Sure. And then we'll see if uh, we'll see if we can get it attached to all of the areas over here. That's fine. There we go. All right. I think we're I think we're just about ready to start accepting flights here. Look at all of this capacity that we've got. I really do wish that there was a way for me to just accept and auto manage all flights. Like, that would be... That would be really, really nice. Just to auto-accept all flights? Oh, man, I'd love that. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. I think we can... I think we can handle it. Right, the turnaround is gonna be... Is gonna be cut. An hour and a half is gonna be standard. go this is it we're starting the rollout we're starting the rollout the brand new area will it work will it won't it who knows uh, that's every single aircraft every single aircraft that we can take on board at this moment in time is now taken on board failed to reserve gate failed to reserve gate don't even worry about it condition of this runway is appalling. Can I negotiate any more deals? Aero time? Negotiate? Give me large planes. I don't want to give them fright, flight crew, uh, crew lounges. Large aircraft gates. Sure, I can give you four large aircraft gates, but you don't seem that bothered about it, to be honest, though. So, you know what? That's non-negotiable. Cafes, you don't want any. Service reliability? Sure, I'll take that. Store profit? Nope. Nope. Breach penalty? Throw that right up there. Terminal fees? Oh, you're not cool with terminal fees. Daily fees? Oh, they don't like that. What if I make terminal fees non-negotiable? Are you telling me that I can have... No, I can't have insanely high terminal fees at no cost. Okay, it's okay. Sure. Give me that. I'll send the offer. I, I would expect them to accept that. You got robbed coming from the meeting room? You can overhear laughter of executives. I don't think I did, necessarily. Minimum flight load. I could have uh, upped that a little bit. Okay, so they, they did get the stores. I didn't think that they got the stores. But that's okay. We can always come back to the... Uh, to the negotiating table at some point. We ended up getting three really, really, really big aircraft here. There we 
go. There we go. There we go. And you know, just stick it on here. That's fine. Okay, it requires a connection to the baggage hub. Yeah. Assign, assign, assign. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then what do we need to get? Literally a connection to and from uh, a baggage hub. So, I think the way that we're going to do it is around here. I think this is the way to do it. It's going to be a little bit of a long trip, but what can I say? It's going to be a worthwhile one. Go. That is, without a doubt, the most foundation that I've constructed at a single time. I suspect that that is going to cause the supply trucks to be severely backlogged, but that is what it is. Okay, aero time. Do we want to renegotiate with them? Uh, choose a time slot for the flights to arrive in. I mean, I'll take small planes, but do they not have... Do they not have bigger planes that they can give me? Alright. Minimum per load. We'll, we'll crank that up. Airline will be forced to load their flight with. Okay, fine. Store profit share. Fine. Service reliability. Fine, I'll, I'll crank that up to like, I don't know, 85%. That seems reasonable. Stores, they've already got two stores, so I can give them flight crew lounges, offices. Give them zero offices. I just want to crank up the, the fees, to be honest. They're absolutely going to say no. I just want to, I just want fees. I just want... I just want money. It's flipping difficult to run an airport. I'll tell you that for free. It's difficult to run a flipping airport. Well, actually, tell a lie, it's not. I mean, we've been managing fairly well up until now. Uh, investments really is just the last objective that we need to that we need to get. Uh, Air Canada, yeah, I will accept that because I would like to get more money. I mean, do we maybe turn to, do we maybe turn to hidden flights or hidden airlines and then just see, I mean, try and get some more? 50 passengers max. I, I don't want Lernyville Air. We've had, we've had issues with this before. Air France, what do you fly? You fly an A380? You know what? Okay, sure. Let's, let's see if we can try and accept Air France again. Give me everything that you've got, Air France. Can I assign this gate, gate L1? Uh, which one's that? L1. L1 can be Air France, okay? That's what we're gonna do. L1 is Air France. Let's see if we can try and plumb this all in. Go. That's too, that's too short. About one and a half, one and a half hours per flight is absolutely reasonable. Go Air France. An afternoon flight on Air France. We'll have that come towards the end here. Ding dong, ding dong. Yes, it's very, very annoying. I appreciate that. Go. There we flip and go. Okay, what else? Super Alliance? What the heck is Super Alliance? No idea what Super Alliance is. Is that a 747? That is a 747. I kind of feel like maybe we want to get Super Alliance. Oh, are these all large? Oh, these are all large. Okay, give me Super Alliance then. Okay, Super Alliance can have the next gate. They can have gate M1. 
Okay, I think I I think I like Super Alliance. Okay, so basically, as soon as we have the ability to, we'd love to trade away uh, gate exclusivity to either Air France or Super Alliance. It's really irritating that I need to constantly try and trade away my cafe and shop real estate because, like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't. Why do airlines care about that? Like, surely airlines don't care about that at all. Uh, anything else that we care about? I mean, British Airways, they've got big uh, big aircraft, if I'm not mistaken. They've also got really, really small aircraft. Sure. Let's have a British Airways. Let's have a British Airways gate as well. Absolutely. Okay, start at the start. Work our way backwards. I'm most interested in Super Alliance, to be honest, though. The good news is, is that now we've got airlines coming in here that are just paying the commercial fees. I don't know what commercial fees are actually at at the moment. It's going to absolutely tank our airline interest. Because the way that airline interest works is frankly ridiculous. But, I mean, look, if we have to tolerate that, we have to tolerate that. KLM, I think it's time to get KLM as well. So, let's get KLM. Any other real airlines? I mean, we've got JetBlue. Do JetBlue actually fly anything big? They don't actually fly anything big. They literally fly the Embraer 195 and the A320, neither of which I really care about. ANA? ANA fly big stuff, I think, don't they? They do. The A380-800. Boeing 787. Eh. Delta and American Airlines. American Airlines, we've already got. They fly the Boeing 787. Delta flies 747 as well. So you know what? We can have a Delta gate. I'll have a Delta gate. That's cool. Show Delta Airlines. Lufthansa, yes. They absolutely do not like us, though. They think of us very, very poorly. But they've got a lot of flights. But they've got a lot of flights. And I want their money. Yeah, airline interest is now at 63%. Which is irritating, to be honest. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. Right, you know what? Squeeze an extra... Squeeze an extra flight in there. Pack that in. Yeah, fine. I don't think there are many... I don't think there are many... Uh, Oh, whoops, looks like Delta, you're being moved to another to another gate. My bad. I messed that up. Looks like there aren't many airlines that are actually interested in flying at early AM times. Frankly, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, okay, Lufthansa, you can fly from here to and also from here. We're going to be rolling in the money. Not to mention the fact this takes like a ridiculously long time to organize. So by the time I emerge, I would expect large profitability. Okay. There we flip and go. Okay. Uh, fine. Okay. Normal overview. We should now be able to... Oh, yeah. We didn't get, we didn't get KLM. We'll do KLM real quick. I can. Alright. I feel like that noise, bing bong, is going to be just like completely burned into my skull. The cool thing is, is that we've got like, is we've got all of the really interesting airlines that are coming to our airport now, which is very, very exciting, is it not? Okay, let's see if this area actually works. Okay, enable repair override. G give me some repairs over here. Enable repair override. Yeah, we need to get this repaired as quickly as we possibly can. 47%. That is abysmal. Failed to reserve runway. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. In fact, you know what? Give me a taxiway up here. Oh yeah, even across here. Yeah, taxiway across there. Cancel that project. It's fine. Urgent. So let's see if we can try and sort of connect this area up a little bit better. 
you never know. We might be able to... In fact, I need to enable this for takeoffs as well as landings, don't I? Yeah, that's my bad, actually. Okay. Do... Oh, our commercial pricing's at zero? Oh, that makes sense as to why we're not making a single pip of money. That's abysmal. Okay, well, we're going to tank our airline interest, but it turns out that, that, you know, prices don't actually make a darn bit of difference in, uh, in airline interest anyway. So, that's fine, too. Already upgraded it. I've activated it. Let's get these repaired. 97%. Cool. All right, so as soon as we're done with that, we should be grand. We could get ourselves a brand new... A brand new runway and in fact to be honest I feel like we should get ourselves a brand new runway I've never really felt like the runways were a huge problem uh, no they they just they're just fine I mean this is this this terminal is absolutely unbelievably empty uh, devoid of all character to be honest but frankly it does work uh, and I don't think that we're gonna have any issues with it okay hold on am I gonna disable yeah disable the repair override on that disable the repair override on that Get these, get these aircraft skyward bound. Why are the workers not building the taxiway? I don't know. Oh, look at this. Is that a KLM flight? That's a KLM flight. It's a 787 that is, uh, that is just now, that is just now docking. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, so we got a lot of people that are waiting at the escalators. I did kind of anticipate that this would be a bit of a problem. But I don't, I don't think that there is any other way to deal with the capacity issues. Switch directions there. Yeah, so there are just too many people. There are just too many people that are waiting for the stairs here. And I'm immediately, I'm immediately in the money. Look at that. We actually managed to complete the, uh, the angel investor return as well. I suspect that that is probably why I'm in the money actually, now that I think about it. So we can now apply for a loan, if that's something that we're interested in doing, which I'm not really interested in doing. Also, I just completely forgot to deal with the baggage handling over here. That's that's my bad. That's my bad video game. I I appreciate that. That's, that's my bad. I'll fix that right now. I'll fix that right now. Yeah. Okay. Get that done, and give me conveyor two-way. And we'll get the we'll get the conveyor to head all the way up here. Good stuff. It's literally just that simple. And now that we've actually increased the the price of commercial pricing or whatever, it means that we don't have to deal with issues like this in the future. Issues, i.e. like running out of cash. Over here. Over there. Over there. I would love a foundation. Over here. We'll get a baggage hub in this vicinity. And that will be us. Just like so. Jobs are good. Jobs an absolute gooden. What the heck are you doing? Excuse me? Are you moving down the moving walkway on a vehicle? That's a highly illegal maneuver. And it looks like you're walking in the golf cart. Okay, I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. 1,750 missed departures. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Big yikes. Okay, let's get the baggage hub up and running. Uh, we'll get that sorted. Get that sorted as soon as we possibly can. I'm actually happy with the rest of the airport, to be honest. It does look like a fresh, chaotic hell. I, I think it, it, it actually is a fresh, chaotic hell. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we're making a lot of money. 
make a lot of money. Mm, yeah. Mm. 1,800 missed departures. I think that that number is only going to continue to climb, to be honest. Okay, a lot of missed flights. Reneged by airline? Failed to reserve gate? Yeah, a load of people failed to reserve gates. Is there any way... Can I, uh... Gate control? Is there any way that I can just say, hey, if you miss your... If your passengers miss their time, we'll just get them to set off. Uh, it looks like they... Looks like they do sort of like automatically take off to some degree. But it also seems like sometimes they just don't do that. All right. Hit me with a dismantle. Are the workers just chilling here for some casual reason? I, I'm not actually sure why they just want to chill out here. Give me a baggage hub there. And then we'll get the conveyor over. What the heck is happening here? Why are they still all... Why are they all still chilling out over here? Is there another supply issue? Probably. The game does like to faff around with pathing when it comes to the workers. Yeah, there we go. 3,600 missed departures. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. At least we're dealing with the arrivals. At least we're dealing with the arrivals. I, I think that we're mostly okay in terms of arrivals. So that's good, at least. Everything else, however... Yeah, it could use a little bit of work. Do we also have enough janitors, or perhaps our garbage area is just completely packed? No, it's not. We just need more janitors. All right. Give me like a hundred janitors or something. All right. The light rail needs to come more frequently now. If I look at transport capacity, we are like nowhere near, nowhere near full. Okay. You know what? Buses. Give me buses daily. Give me light rail every seven minutes. So just about, just about as high as we can push the light rail, but just about as few buses as we possibly can uh, can get at this moment in time. We just don't need any. Light rail is just much, much easier to work. All right, the conveyor is almost done. Cool, get that in there. We get a single way conveyor. Which is not a not an allowed maneuver right now, but that's fine. It will be an allowed maneuver in just a second. Cats up. Oh. There we go. Consumer, excellent. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need to do what, like a tiny little bit of extra foundation over here. I need to demolish this wall, and then we're we're good to go. I think. Yeah. Okay, so that is going to be the baggage system sorted. We need to do... We need to do... The, we need to reroute the fuel lines over here, but I... Is there a way for us to do that? Uh, it's only to the fuel ports. It's only to the fuel ports, so it's not super essential. How many passengers missed their departures? 5,000? Okay, well, we almost got to 10,000. I'd quite like to get to 10,000 successful departures. Uh, and I feel like solving the baggage crisis, because that's what it... That's what it frankly is. It's a crisis. The baggage crisis. If we can sort out the baggage crisis, then uh, then we'll be good. We will be very, very good. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Requires a connection from a baggage hub. That's it. We got it sorted. We got it sorted. Okay. So now people's baggage should be able to be moved around with relative ease. Uh, yep. It's going to take a little while, but you know what? It's it's okay. Yeah. Can we get it done, please? Yes. Thank you. Some point today. There we go. We got it. We absolutely have it. Okay. Loads of successful departures today. We're already on, like, what? 680. Condition of all of the runways. 
are fine. Some 48% on that one, but apart from that, apart from that one, we're okay. Alright, give me a fence across the entire bottom of the map. There we go. Do we have a fence post in the corner over there? Yeah, we do. Nice. Excellent. And fence all the way down here. Then I'm going to grab a runway and we're going to build a big old runway. As many tiles long as we possibly can. Locked by a nearby fence or a wall. Locked by a nearby fence or wall. What are you talking about? All right. I don't. I don't know why this is suddenly an illegal maneuver. All right. Just get it built. Thank you. I don't think that there is a bigger plane that we can get, but maybe there is. I don't know. Dismantle the fence over here. Thank you. And we'll get that sorted, and we'll bring this. Uh, we'll bring this runway online as soon as we possibly can. Is it possible for us to bring this one online, actually? Might not be. It might not be. Okay, hold up. Can I cancel this? Okay, I'm going to need to demolish this runway. I'm going to definitely need to demolish this runway. It needs to be further away from the wall in order for... Or it needs to be further uh, away from the fence in order for it to actually work. Either way, let's see if we can try and hit 10,000 today. Hitting 10,000 passengers today would be a, a really, really good milestone. A milestone that I'd be proud of. Yeah, that would be good for sure. Alright, this is all this is all looking very, very good so far. We've got the baggage that is going out to the right location. We are seemingly able to process it quickly enough. Uh, we did get a baggage booster. Booster panel, whatever. Give me a brand new booster panel just to be on the safe side. Yeah. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so we got a British Airways. We've got a Lufthansa. We've got a Air France. We've got KLM. Uh, we do have like a Star... What was it called? Super Alliance or something? We'll have one of those planes, I'm sure, at some point. How many passengers? Okay, almost 4,000. Almost 4,000 successfully processed. It's mostly just security that, that is proving to be the issue. And what an issue it actually is. It's a big old, it's a big old issue. It's a big old issue, that's, that's for sure. Okay, we're still building the runway. Honestly, now that I think about it, I, I just, I'm just not that bothered about the runway. I'm just not that bothered about the runway. I, I don't think that it's going to really make that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things, to be honest. Uh, at all, actually. I don't think it'll make a difference. Maybe we just create taxiway over here as well. I'm going to give that a shot. Yeah, demolish that. We do require an additional taxiway over on this runway if we want to get it operational, but I, I don't really care about getting it operational. I've thought about it, and, and now I, I just, I'm just not that bothered. I'm just not that bothered. It is simply... Simply a no big dealio. But if we could get the uh, if we could get the fence deconstructed, then maybe I could build the taxiway across here. That would be that'd be kind of nice. I think we need to do it all in a oneer for some obscene reason. Yep, yeah, the fence, please. Can you get it deconstructed? Priority urgent. Why workers? I I don't I don't think you understand. Like. You've all come to deconstruct the fence, and yet here you are not deconstructing the fence. How on earth? Why? 
I feel like this might be bugged. I feel like this might be bugged. This is this is just ridiculous. How many passengers have we got? 7,000 successful departures. Okay, so if things continue in this vein, we we might hit 10,000, which would be which would be pretty incredible to be honest. Uh, the fact that we still haven't managed to deconstruct a simple fence is is yeah worrisome, worrisome to say the least. It looks like the new area is working pretty darn well to be honest. Yeah, I'm not too displeased with it at all. Uh, the baggage carousels, yeah, they are almost certainly probably massively over capacity. I mean, the the scrum that must be going on here in order for people to get their bags is frankly ludicrous, but hey-ho. Yeah. Please. Please, get this done. Get this done, people. No? You're just not gonna do it? Okay, you're not gonna demolish the fence. I see how it is. I, I absolutely see how it is. Look at this. KLM just paid me four grand in terminal usage fees. Sorry, 14 grand in terminal usage fee. Terminal usage, Afford Air, $40,000. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I love that. I really, 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 really love that. Okay, so 10,000 arrivals. We're about to hit 10,000 successful departures over the course of a day. Uh, you know, 2,000, 3,000 missed, uh, missed flights. But that's that's not my problem, frankly. That's that's not my problem even slightly. I'm happy with, with 10,000 people. 10,000 people leaving successfully over the course of the over the course of the day. That's not too bad at all. That is not too bad at all. I still have absolutely no idea why the video game is refusing to demolish this fence. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand it. Uh, the runway, I guess we'll dismantle the runway. Not like it particularly matters. Uh, it's, it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm not grumpy about anything. It's it's okay. Uh, the garbage zone, is it potentially to do with the garbage zone? Is that maybe it? Is it maybe to do with the garbage zone that the fence can't be thrown out? We can make a bigger garbage zone. That's fine too. Nope, fence still not not happening. Not happening at all. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna we're gonna end this episode and we're gonna end this series uh, because I think that honestly that is uh, that is a really 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 fine place to end. What with the fact that we've got a wonderful, albeit slightly empty. Uh, terminal that is uh, that is now built. Uh, there are, you know, a bunch more gates that we could very well connect up. But frankly, in order to do that, in order to undertake, you know, acquiring more planes and more uh, more time slots and whatnot, we would need to micromanage the heck out of our flight management interface. And the the pace at which we get offered new flight contracts very very slow. We got Air Canada, which is offering one single type of additional uh, additional flight, but that's it. That's it, and that is uh, a little bit ridiculous. Uh, we just got an achievement called International Airport, board 10,000 passengers in a 24-hour period, which was kind of my mindset. You know, I thought if we could get 24, uh, if we could get uh, if we get 10,000 passengers, then that's probably achievement worthy, and that's probably good enough for me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching the series. Thank you very much for all the comments. Thank you very much for supporting the series. Uh, it really was uh, it really was a good one, and I had a thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable time. If you're interested in helping make videos like this possible, check out the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash robot potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.